Hey there, Saints. Pastor Dave here with another weekly devotion this Wednesday. I hope you're doing well today. I'm going to share a quick meditation from A Quiet Mind by David Kuntz, and this one is about monastics. Tis not the habit that makes the monk. Thomas Fuller. Monasteries and convents are where men and women go to be monastics, to live the quiet life of prayer, simplicity, and work in a community of the like-minded. But many men and women who live in the larger world with relationships, families, careers, and friends are successful in bringing parts of the monastic life into their secular routines. Dennis is a professional health care provider with a spouse and a life full of patience and teaching, but he also finds time for meditation, a daily orarium of prayer, and several spaces of quiet contemplation. He used to be a monk in a monastery. Now he's a monk in his home and office. Patricia is a nurse. She leads a very quiet but full life of service, working at the hospital and volunteering much time to community projects that serve children. Her day is built upon a structure of prayer and quietude. This is her life of choice. Her husband, of a similar inclination, often joins her. Lisa is an artist. She spends most of her day in her studio painting, which is for her a spiritual practice. She lives alone and has an active social life with family members, friends, and colleagues. It's clear that the people mentioned here have made the monastic part of their lives a priority and thus have chosen to forego other aspects. Most of us are not in a position to make such a choice. Two of those described above are parents, but none have children at home. Even if your circumstances are different, is there a way, even a small way, you'd like to express the monastic hidden in you? Today, reflect on the possibility of monastic moments. Saints, I love that saying, the habit doesn't make the monk, uh, because ironically, uh, in English, it does. Uh, Although it means something different than what the original French phrase means. Uh, The habit uh, is the, the term for the monk's clothing. It's uh, that, you know, plain brown kind of sackcloth looking thing that they tie with a a simple cinch around the waist. Uh, You can probably picture that. And and the saying means that it's not just what you wear, it's not the outer appearance that makes you what you are. But in English, the word habit also refers to those routine practices that we uh, engage ourselves in. And The habits, in that sense, are kind of what makes a monk. A monk is someone who has dedicated their life to a sort of a structure, uh, to to certain habits and practices of regular prayer and meditation, of uh, regular work and worship, uh, to living in a certain way, living usually in a a community that's isolated from the rest of the world, um, and to... Uh, maybe taking a vow of silence or a vow of poverty. There are, there are specific practices that go into the monastic life. And so it is, in that sense, the habits that do make you a monk. Now, David here has a, a great suggestion for us, recognizing that most of us aren't going to join a monastery or a convent. Most of us aren't going to separate ourselves from our regular secular life in order to live that different kind of life, but we can still benefit from adopting some of those habits and finding places within our regular routine where they might fit. Because one of the things that a monk can do really well is focus intentionally on God. In our normal everyday life, we sometimes lose the ability to do that, don't we? We get distracted because there are so many other things going on. But to adopt some of those habitual practices, to to say we're going to set aside a time of the day for reading scripture or for prayer or for journaling or meditation is one way of of, of adopting that habit. Uh, To say that we're going to set aside a a certain time every week or every month where we're going to do acts of service 
for our community where we're going to get involved in um, something like daily bread or, or something like volunteering at the preschool or something like helping out uh, with, uh, with Habitat. Or, you know, there are many ways that we can do acts of service. But saying that, that there's going to be a routine to it, there's going to be a, some kind of schedule, keeps us uh, engaged doesn't allow those distractions to become something that that diverts us from those practices and those habits that help connect us with God. So saints, that's uh, something I want you to think about this week. What are the habits that you could bring into your life, the monastic habits, the the, um, way of kind of ordering your day intentionally or ordering your week or your month intentionally to create space for God. That's your devotional this week. Hope it's helpful and worth thinking about for you. I hope you're doing well and staying healthy, and I'll be praying for you, saints. Please keep praying for me, and I'll see you all again soon. Take care.